Now I'm sure that if you do any work with metal, you'll probably have an offcut spin of some type. Most of the stuff that I have here just isn't suitable to be used as raw stock, so it's just been sitting around for the best part of two years. However, since I now have the forge, I think I can probably put this stuff to good use. The plan is to replace the cross slide hand wheel with one made from aluminium. Now a hand wheel is a shape that is really suited to being cast. Otherwise you end up having to machine it from a solid piece of metal which is more expensive and time consuming to do. The first thing I'll do is make the pattern that I'll be casting and I'll do it from a piece of scrap hardwood. To cut the chamfers, I'll just use a high speed steel router tool mounted in a tool holder which is a lot easier than having to go away and grind up a new tool. Now with the file, I'm going to go in and add a slight taper to the part. This draft angle is pretty slight, only about 1 or 2 degrees, but it should help me remove the part from the mould. And the final thing I'll do is drill a hole for a wood screw so I can remove the part from the mould when it's all finished. With that done, we need to make the mould. For this project, I'll be using this very small sand casting box or flask. I'll put the part in the bottom half of the flask and then I'll cover it in a light dusting of talcum powder. The talcum powder should act as a mould release. I'll then cover it in some casting sand, also known as green sand, and then I'll tamp it down.
Now at this point, I'll go in and add the riser, the runner and the gate. And it's at this point where experience and skill really comes in handy. Just knowing how and where to put them in and how to do it cleanly will really make for a better part. Because I haven't done this in quite a few years, I made mine look pretty much like one that you get out of a textbook. And even then, it still looks pretty basic and pretty shoddily put together. Honestly, it looks a lot easier watching someone else do it on YouTube than it is when you have the mold and the cutting tools right in front of you. However, it should hopefully work. With all that done, let's go ahead and melt the aluminium. Now unlike last time, I'm going to preheat the metal slightly to remove any moisture on the surface of the metal. And by the looks of it, I definitely underestimated the amount of metal that I'd need for this casting. Now the first cast came out in one piece, which is a good sign, however it was certainly clear that there were some porosity issues with the casting, and I'm guessing that was down to the alloy that I was using, which really isn't meant for metal casting. So I put it back in the forge, and then I added in a scrap piece of cast aluminium. The cast piece should have a higher content of silicon, which will help aid the flow of the molten metal. And while I wait for it to come back up to temperature, I'll remake the mould and I'll take more care to do a cleaner job when cutting the gates. Unfortunately though, I didn't put the mould back together perfectly, and the metal spilt out the back. And it looks like third time is a charm because it turned out the best of the three. Now there is some shrinkage in the center and that's no real surprise, aluminium does shrink a fair amount as it cools. However, this could have been avoided by having a feeder or just moving around the riser. Now I did this for subsequent casts and it did for the most part reduce most of the shrinkage issues. A lot of this just comes down to having skill and experience and having done a lot of trial by error and that's just not something that I have yet. The final thing left to do is just go ahead and clean up the part. 
The casting is oversized, so I could take it to the final dimension on the lathe. The last thing left to make is the handle. And that is the handle done. I hope you enjoyed seeing my first metal casting project with the new forge. There is a lot more content to cover with the forge and there is a lot of stuff that I skipped over in this video, so keep an eye out for that. As for the handle, I'm really happy with the project. Having a metal handle just looks and feels a lot nicer than having the old acrylic one. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.